Hello, I'm Dylan Grinder. I'm Summer. And this is Really Playing Games, the show where we play games. Really, Summer, it's been like actually forever. How are you? <laughs> Great. Nothing has gone wrong. Nothing. Nothing um, at all has gone wrong for anyone. Nothing has, no, nothing at all has gone wrong for anyone in the real world. <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> that's not true. It's that's been nice. pretty crummy for both of us for a minute. Yep. Um, hmm. Uh, it's okay. It's going. It's happening. Uh, some exciting news. Bought a house. Hell yeah. So going to be moving out of this space and then into, we're moving about an hour away, um, which is, there's a lot of scary stuff that comes with that. Like I have to get a new doctor and get a new mm-hmm. hospital, mm-hmm. which is like not super fun. It's scary the first time finding a doctor that you like and trust especially when you're a first time mom. But now that I know my doctors and I'm like, they got my back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, That's scary leaving them. And I've looked for a hospital that's like along the, like that's within the same group of hospitals closer, but still the closest one is 40 minutes away. And it's like, I could do that. Right. Like I could commute 40 minutes to stay within the same group of hospitals, but it's like, does it, is it even worth it at that point? I don't know. Um, but house really exciting stuff. Um, so technically the close should be tomorrow. And then we have a 14 day closing period where we would hopefully get the fucking house and then we'd be able to move, which would be amazing. Um, what else had a election <laughs> in another no one? Another one. So crazy. So they do fun. them every two months. I wish they would stop doing them every two months. Two months it's... is so short of time. Three months kind of makes sense. Two months is... It's so unnecessary. It's so fast. How short it is. Yeah. Because then my brain goes, well, if I... I lost. Spoiler alert. But the... Uh. F's and chap. <laughs> um, but um, the horrible news is that if I decided to do it again, that would be in two months. And that's just psycho, that's just psycho behavior. And then the end of the term, I'd be eight, like eight and a half months pregnant. And that's just yeah. unreasonable. That's just no, that's in nobody's best interest, especially because last time I was in third trimester, I was taking two naps a day. And if I didn't, I literally couldn't function. Um, RIP my political, my fictitious political career. Um, I mean, uh, <laughs> look, if if one of your opponents can run after taking two terms, then you can come back after having a kid. And That's true. I've done crazier things. Um, <laughs> so many. I'm not, yeah. I, I, it's so funny because everybody's like, we need to plan for like when you are gone for a very long time. And I was like, I remember when Wesley was a newborn baby and I was like, I'm going to need at least three months off from streaming because I was still streaming. Mm-hmm. I was doing producer stuff like full yeah. time. And it was like two or three weeks in. It was like after the first month I was like, but what if I went back to it like right now? <laughs> this baby sleeps a lot. <laughs> 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 so I can picture that being a similar vibe. Um, I do have a toddler this time, which makes it a little bit different. It's a little different. It's a little different, like, but like 1% that one percent being a new baby um i don't know what else has happened really not a ton i went to the doctor i had a they took nine vials of my blood they Jesus took so Christ. much of my blood the lady goes can you hold this and started handing me vials of my own blood to hold because <laughs> there were so many she couldn't hold them on i was like this seems fucking hell really weird i don't like it um and uh, everything, all my tests came back great, which is amazing because I had a lot of, during my first pregnancy, I had some blood tests come back like irregular, not cause for concern, but to make me go back in and do a lot more blood testing. Yeah. And this time they're like, girl, are you good? And I'm like, oh, thank fuck. It's so nice. <laughs> your, um, your body has learned from last time and improved on the process. Yeah. Um, I went and got a bunch of tattoos shaded earlier this month. Oh yeah. Um, got my hand tattoo shaded. Got this like 
crow that's holding a tooth shaded, lots of other stuff. And um, this is the itchiest tattoo I've ever had in my fucking life. I wanted to die. It was so itchy that I literally would wake up in the middle of the night. Oh, no. Couldn't sleep because it was that it was that itchy. Um, but it's worth it because it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, so excited about that. I don't know. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah. How about you? Tell us about your several weeks, Dylan. Well, well, so the space behind me looks different because all of the posters and things that were on those closet so doors naked. are in boxes now. Um, yeah, I, I also am in the process of moving. Uh, I did not buy a house. Uh, however, Kiana and I rented a place in Toronto and I'm moving across the continent and into a different country to go live there. <laughs> um, I actually, we, I, I was not supposed to be streaming today because two days ago I was supposed to be on the road to Canada. Yeah. Um, unfortunately at the, uh, beginning of the month. One of the people in my house came down with COVID. Uh, and so all of us immediately locked down. Um, and we've been basically in quarantine in our rooms for the last two weeks. Yeah. Um, while we wait for them to test clear. Uh, so, because like what I'm not going to do, what I'm not going to do is go across the country to various places where I'm still going to be minimizing contact, like wearing a mask and mm -hmm. not dining in anywhere and all that sort of stuff. Um, but like, you know, it's, it's non zero contact with people. Um, I'm not going to do that when I just was in close proximity with someone who was positive for COVID. That's not, that's not good. Um, especially when like, so the worst case scenario would be passing COVID along to someone else and then they die and that would suck. That would be terrible. But the less worst case scenario, but the most like personally inconvenient scenario would be I start driving across the continent and I get to like Iowa or something and then symptoms hit. <laughs> um, and surprise, I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere. <laughs> And are very unwell. And I'm very in the unwell. middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so had to had to postpone, move stuff. Uh, so that's what I've been up to is incrementally m moving and replanning and rescheduling all of the plans for trying to move mm -hmm. uh, to Toronto. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but like most of my stuff is in boxes now, um, which is weird. Yeah. Uh, but it'll make packing easier once <laughs> once it's time for that. Uh, what else have I been up to? I've been watching a lot of stuff, um, partially to keep myself sane while I did the aforementioned packing. Um, I so you may or may not know this, but I used to I used to play MMOs. I used to play World of Warcraft. I played a lot, a lot of World of Warcraft. Um, and uh, I do not currently live in Canada. I currently live in California. Um, moving to So I am, I am moving basically as far away from California as I can get um, across many state lines and, and a country Country line. lines. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I, I had a pretty bad WoW habit, and I, I, eventually I went, this is not good for me, and I have decided that I, I can't play MMOs anymore. Um, however, there's this MMO that people have talked about called Final Fantasy XIV, um, which has a free trial up to level whatever, including the base game and award-winning expansion Heaven's Ward, whatever the copy pasta is. Um, that a lot of people really like. And I, I enjoy Final Fantasy games. Um, so I've been watching a playthrough. Um, uh, a YouTube channel, Playframe, has a story-focused playthrough of Final Fantasy XIV that they've been uploading. And I watched, like, all of that. And it's, like, shockingly good for an MMO. I'm used to, like, World of Warcraft, great cinematics. 
a whole lot of nothing going on in between the cinematics, right? Like, <laughs> like it's go here, murder some stuff. Go here, loot some stuff. Go here, murder some stuff. Go here, loot some stuff. And your narrative explanation for it is like, we're at war with these people. And there's like, there's nothing character driven going on in World yeah. of Warcraft. Uh, and it has been that way for like 20 years. Uh, Final Fantasy 14 has like, a lot going on with these characters and like the main story quest is like actually a really good story um i mean you're still going to a place and killing some things and looting some stuff and doing all that normal mmo shit um but the the actual story that happens around it is is really interesting um and so i've been enjoying the shit out of that um <laughs> lost like three friends to final fantasy 14 yeah <laughs> it's good um, but since I can't play MMOs, I've been enjoying watching it. Um, uh, I started, oh God. A, so a new show just came out on Netflix called First Kill. That is a rom drum <gasps> about two teenagers in Savannah uh, and one of them is a vampire, and the other is a monster hunter. And they're both lesbians, and they fall in love. <gasps> right? I'm in. It's terrible. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. It's not good. Ugh. Why is it not good? That doesn't make any sense. They have the well, perfect premise. What are they talking right? about? What do you that's mean? the thing. That's that's what's that's what's so that's what's so disappointing about it is like. You've the, literally the perfect premise. They have su- they have such good material. Mm-hmm. Um, the whole I I have like an episode and a half left on it, so maybe it turns around <laughs> in the last bit of the. Sh- it's not going to, mm-hmm. um, but but it just it feels unfinished. It feels like they if maybe maybe if they'd had like three times the budget and twice the shooting time. And four more episodes to, like, let some plot points breathe. Mm-hmm. Maybe it would have been good. Um, but it just, like, it feels like a first draft. Yeah. Basically. Um, and there's just a lot of, like, transitions between scenes aren't really motivated by anything happening. Characters mm-hmm. develop off screen. And then you find out about the character development because they just sort of say that they've changed. Um People find out about things off screen without any mention of it. And it's just like, oh, this character knows this thing now. Um, what the fuck? It's, it's just like, and it's this string of plot point to plot point to plot point. Where it's like, and then a thing happens. And then a thing happens. And then a thing happens. And not like a narrative flow. Mm-hmm. Um, and it just, yeah, it feels like a first draft. It, it feels sort of like, like the whole season feels like a pilot. Mm-hmm. Almost. Where... If if they had made this and then handed it to a studio, being like, "Hey, give us money so we can do this for real," um, it would make sense. But it just, uh, it's rough. Uh, I feel like Netflix has been taking fewer and fewer chances on new shows the past few years that aren't already proven winners or from existing popular IP. That is possible. Um, it's entirely possible that the show is just underfunded, right? Like it yeah. could literally be. You know, they couldn't pay people enough. Uh, they didn't have enough time to really flesh out the script and do all that stuff. Um, and if that's the case, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but what's frustrating is like I don't know, I want I want good I want a good teen vampire sapphic love story. I want that. That sounds great. Yeah. Um and there's this thing that happens every once in a while, like very rarely, very ra- rarely a queer TV show that is not like an indie thing, but is like produced by some yeah. large studio. Um, a, a piece of queer media will come out and it will be phenomenal. And it'll be like, hooray! Um, but there's kind of a dearth of the types of media that you sort of exp- like that you know the, the, the kinds of cishet stories 
yeah. um, that you see all over the place, like every single CW show, basically, right? Where it's just yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, it's just kind of, it's not the strongest storytelling in the world, but it's like, it's got good production value, and it's like, got a story to it, and the characters have motivations. Yeah. You know, it's it's enough to be a show, it's not going to change your life, but, you know, it, it's the, the fucking stupid teen vampire dramas that are like, like Twilight is not yeah. good, but it's no. produced well for the well, most part. There are a couple spots yeah. where it's like, why, why what is this happened? what happened? The fucking <laughs> baseball game. Um, um, don't shit on the baseball game. Literally the, baseball the best, game. <laughs> the best scene in the cinematic history. Baby. <laughs> okay, the creepy baby is a different thing, but the uh, baseball scene is the best, uh, universally revered as you the best. Named m- my scene daughter in the after the Loch Ness monster. Okay. It, yeah, there's so many other things that she should be mad about in that situation. Um, She's mad about the author. <laughs> She's a silly lady. But like you know, there there's like kind of mediocre media that yeah. happens a lot. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of like we have these two options for queer media. We have like near flawless queer media that took like truly like mountains of effort to create in the climate yeah. that it was made. Or we have like put queer people in it so we can say it's queer and then that's all the money we're giving you is enough to put some queer people in it. Um, yeah. And I don't know. I just, I just, I wish we could get the, the, the cheesy popcorn media um, and not have to worry and be like, you know, because, because part of what happens is when we do get queer media that isn't good um, because that's basically all we're getting is you get a lot of people on the interwebs who are like, how dare you say that this thing is bad? Um, like, this is, because where the fuck is our representation, right? Like, there's this sort yeah. of, we take what we can get, and what we can get has to be good, because it's all we have. Um, and I just don't think it's good for anyone. Uh, so, yeah, that's been disappointing. Upsetting. But, um, but Final Fantasy XIV, it's pretty good. Pretty good. My Hero Academia, pretty good. I'm catching up on season five. I'm still binging Ghost Hunters like a psychopath every single day. <laughs> um, would you like to hop into this? No question, question of the day, Dylan. Oh, question of the day. I'm sorry. It's been like literally I a have month one. Since I have a question played. of the day. What's your question of the day? To go off of what you were talking about, what what is a piece of media that you thought was going to be terrible, but you really liked? Ooh. Mm. It doesn't. I guess it doesn't mean it still can be kind of terrible in some way. Yeah, but you that, just really liked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just really liked it. You thought you would hate it, but you loved it. I I know I have I have had this experience, but I like I'm drawing a blank, so I'm gonna need a minute. What's yours? I also have had this experience many times, but can't. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, I think, is the really? the movie that pops into my head the first that I was like, I did. I it looked so stupid to me. And I was just like, but I actually really enjoyed it. Like, I really enjoyed watching it. I was like, can I look at that? <laughs> the first Sonic movie. I haven't seen that yet. I really want to. Um, um, Arcane. Arcane. I honestly, as much as I, like, I'm a recovering League of Legends fanboy, um, mm-hmm. I didn't expect arcane to be actually any good i sort of was expecting yeah. it was going to be like kind of fan servicey and like technically good because you know riots made great uh cinematics and fortiche has made great animation in the past so i i expected it to look good but i didn't really expect it to have any substance uh i certainly was not expecting it to be one of my favorite like shows yeah animated anything ever um so yeah arcane arcane would be nice. my, my example um I do really want to see the first Sonic movie. I don't expect it to be... I don't expect it to change my life. Um, but it looks fun. People liked it. Um, it's just... I don't think it's streaming anywhere that I wouldn't have to pay more money to watch it. Um, and I'm I'm averse to paying more money to services that I already have subscriptions to. <laughs> I do it every once in a while, but... Um... So, this game that Summer and I are going to play 
tonight, TikTok, Thank a tale you. for two, is a co-op puzzle game. Basically, uh, Summer also has the game open on her end, and let's just let's click new game. I did. I clicked new game. This is a two-player adventure. Going solo is not an option. It's literally not possible. Pick a different player each and communicate to solve puzzles either in person or through phone call slash online chat. The game itself doesn't require an internet connection to play, which I think is really cool. So nice because it just requires you to talk to each other. Yeah. So it's like you could sit in the same room together and mm -hmm. play it. You know, I just love that. Yeah, I think it's great. And basically, so I have played this game before. Um, it was like a year and a half, two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, Me too. But in essence, uh, if you're calling through an online chat, we recommend that you use Discord. I will be player one. You will be player two. Uh, essentially, there will be points. There will be puzzles that we cannot solve with the information available on our side of the game. So that's why it's having you pick which player you are. Uh, and yeah. the other person will have the clues to solve the puzzles in the other person's version mm -hmm. of the game. Um, you communicate them verbally. Yeah. And so it, it makes it, it ensures that you have to have the information from the other side of the game, but you don't have to be like connected. You don't have to be in a sessioned multiplayer thing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I will be player one. You yes, player I'm two. player two. I'm ready to hit it. Start so playing. Know. And it's just a beautiful game, too. Today, you and um, your friend received two strange packages. Each contained an old clock. I got... You received a package from someone named Amelie Raven. And your friend got one, too. Oh. So I got Is a name in there. Is it Raven or Raven? It's R-A-V-N. So oh. it could be Raven, but... And your friend got one, too. Okay. Dear Player One, This, this clock is part of a game. A gift I made for my sister to have a fighting chance, play with a friend, and tell each other what you read and see. If you find my sister, tell her I miss her. From Amelie. Mine says, Dear Player Two, I sent one clock to you and one to your friend. If you want to play a game, look into the past together. Remember to wind the clocks up. Amelie. Okay, I've got a paper clip and an eraser. I've got Ooh. a part of a newspaper. I also have Tuesday, March 14th, 1937. What's yours say? Um, do you have like the right half of a newspaper? Yes, I do. I have the left half of a newspaper. Ah, <gasps> what does yours say? What's the top? Uh, what's the title? Uh, the headline. The headline says "Another Disappearance Stri Strikes Our Village." Okay, by Mark D. Hansen, Hillback Press. The youngest member of the renowned clockmaker family, Lark, 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 um, was reported missing yesterday. Her sister Amelie told us she had last seen her at 10.30. 10.30, okay. You written that down? Uh, no, I'm gonna trust chat to remember things. <laughs> uh, and I have so a- brave of you. <laughs> pocket watch that says Amelie 1915. Okay, mine says understandably distressed. She later corrected her statement and said it must have been an hour and a half later, which would be mm. midnight. Mm-hmm. Contact if you have seen or heard anything unusual, please con Yeah, okay, if you have seen or heard anything unusual, please contact the police. And, what's and the I date? have uh it was March fourteenth, nineteen thirty seven. Okay. Tuesday, March fourteenth, nineteen thirty seven. Um and then mine says Lark nineteen seventy to nineteen thirty seven. I'm winding up my clock. I'm gonna go to midnight. This is an hour and a half later, right? Yeah. Oh, shit's happening. Wait, you went to midnight? Yep, and then I clicked the little fob at the top. Okay, shit's happening for me too. <laughs> Easy puzzle. Puzzles Easy. are for babies. <laughs> okay, what's your say? Chapter one. This is a copy I made of the world that Lark and I used to know. Mine says chapter one. Lark went missing in 1937, but it all started years before. Mm. I like that it pulls your current year to do the mm -hmm. 
The Flip rewind. Back in time. 1927. Okay, uh, I see a train station. I too see a train station at midnight. Yep. There's a white bird. It looks like a crow. Uh, I mm. do not have a bird. Uh, mine just flew away. Um, and then there is a. Oh, there it is. It's over there. Um, and then there's a board that has a train in the bottom. Bottom left. Left. Yeah, yeah. and it's got a. A left arrow, but not a right arrow, and then it's got up and down yep. and a reset. Same. Okay, I'm going to the right. Uh, how do I? How do I do? Drag. That? You just drag it oh, to yeah. the right or to the left. Um, right. So to the right is a house. Yes, little house. To the right again. Oh, I went to the house. Oh, I'll go with you. Uh. Oh. What's in the house for you? I have a little train, and I'm spinning the wheel, and it made a message. I oh, have an empty message. bird cage and a jack-in-the-box, which I am terrified to spin. But I shall do it anyway. Okay. I also turned on a light bulb, and now I have a message. I don't want to do this. I hate... <laughs> I hate this actually so bad. Come on. Um, the message says, Lark, I hope you like your present. Turn it anti-clockwise three times, clockwise twice, anti-clockwise twice, then keep turning it clockwise. Oh, oh. and do not let go. Oh, this is for your jack in the box, me. I think. Uh, yep. Okay. Okay, so which way first? So counterclockwise three times. One. Two, three, okay. Clockwise twice. One, two. Anti-clockwise twice. One, two. And then keep turning it clockwise, but don't let go for any of those. I didn't let go. Okay. Oh my God, scared the absolute shit out of me. <laughs> but I got a map. Ooh, what's it say? It's a part of the train path. Mm. Okay. It goes up. Okay. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. And then over. Okay. Cool. Is it from the start or? It's from the start. Yeah. Okay. So. We're looking for the other half of it. So what were the directions? It goes. So it starts and it goes up one, two. And then from there it goes right one, oh, two, three, Either and then way down way. two. Okay. And then down two, and then it goes right at least one. So we gotta find the right button. Yeah. Um, I can look elsewhere in this house. Oh, can you? Can I? I don't, I don't think there's anything else there for me. Yeah, no, this is um, all I get for the house. Okay, did you get anything? Uh, no, house? I just had the clue that Open to your oh, okay, okay. Um, to right, the right well. again, there's a well. Yeah, let's go there. There's a ladder. I'm climbing down. It's spooky. Me too. Oh. It's very spooky. <gasps> oh, I okay. found a box, a lock box. Yeah. Okay, so I have three with buttons and three that don't have buttons. Uh, Which of yours have buttons? Top row, the left and right have buttons. Mm -hmm. Bottom row, the middle has a button. Mine is exactly inverted. Okay, so I'm guessing we have to turn our press buttons for the ones that the other one can't press. So what's your top left? My top left is a black triangle. Like a filled in black triangle. Got it. Okay, my top middle is a empty circle. I don't have an empty circle. In the top middle, could you press the button? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I can fix it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I see what you're saying. Okay, I got it. My top right is an empty triangle. Got it. Uh, bottom left is an empty square. 
Okay, my bottom middle is also an empty square. And bottom right is a filled circle. <gasps> Opened. Yeah. Oh, I got the hey. arrow. Hell yeah. Did you get it too? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me go put this in the fucking console. Yeah. Okay. Then it was... Up two. Mm -hmm. and right then three. One, two, one, two, three. And then down to the bottom again. And then it right at least one. Okay. And I guess there's only one more direction to look. Raven's clocks. Opening Let's hours go. three to nine. Oh, can we move the clock? I think so. Um, oh, I remember this. I can't move the clock. If you spin around, you can reverse time. Oh, so spinning wait. counterclockwise reverses time. Oh, shit. Okay. That's right. Going in. That's really cool. Yeah, it's very cool. Okay, I've got a radio station. I'm going into the clocks. Me too. You have a radio station? Mm-hmm. I have a radio. Oh. Oh, I have a radio. Yeah, it's just a radio, but it's like, it's got a tuner on it. Yeah. Um, oh. Okay, I, I tuned it a bit and it says, last month the police started getting several reports of pets going. Miss Mine continues missing, mostly old cats and dogs. Let's hope they are all found soon. The oldest just, raven okay. daughter, Amelie, is a brilliant clockmaker and inventor. Her footsteps... Are usually followed by the ticking and scuttling of one of her creations. <gasps> it's got a little robot bug. I've got... Yeah, I did too. Okay. The Oops. raven family moved here a month ago and have worked day and night... To be able to open their clock shop today, the 18th. Another pet has been stolen during the night. This time, it was Mrs. Jensen's. Mrs. Jensen's sweet old farm dog. Remember to lock your doors until this thief has been caught. A strange occurrence has shook our village. Droves of lifeless... Birds have been found scattered across the forest floor. No more walking for five miles to get your letters. It's now March and the... Construction of our very own post office will start at the end of the month. An unusual white raven seems attached to the youngest member of the... Raven family. Let's hope for her sake that it will not go missing like those other pets. And that's what I've been seeing, this white raven. Yeah. I just wound up the bug and it's climbing back upstairs. Same. Oh, there's a clock. There's many yeah. clocks. I'm going all the way up. Oh. There's two white raven feathers. Okay. Oh. I have a, I have a calendar that I can change uh, oh. for 1927. I have a newspaper that I can read. Uh, does it have a date on it? Let me see. It says News Wednesday Edition. In Raven's Clock Shop, you can buy all kinds of clockwork, request commissions, and get your old clock repaired. Today, the grand opening of Clock Shop. The world-renowned clockmaker, Mrs. Raven, has opened a new clock shop in our town. He is said to be an interest. Uh, he is said to be an interesting, blah 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 blah. The level of detail is exquisite. Our own queen is said to have a couple of his elegant pieces. Today he is opening his. So it's a Wednesday. Um, grand opening, and there was a there was a note about that in the. Okay, so it was February, when they opened, because that happened before the. It's now March, right? Yeah. 18th 
It's the 18th, okay. Wednesday. February 18th. February. Wednesday. 18th. No? Is it March? It was March. Oh, it was. Okay, sorry. Hey, I have the other half of the um the train ticket. Hell yeah. Okay. Let's go. Also some s random clock making stuff. Uh okay. So to the right one. Okay. Uh up 3. Okay. Right 2. Okay. Up 1. And okay. right one. Got it. Unlocked. Okay, hold on. I need to go. I'm gonna keep it. Do the. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So from the start, it's up two. Mm hmm. Right three. Mm hmm. Down two. Yes. Right one. Mm hmm. Up three. Right two. Up one. Right one. And you should finish in the. Second from the top. Boom. Boom. All right. When I back up, there's, there's a, train. a train. I'm clicking on it. Me too. Chapter two. We're the best. Okay. <laughs> uh, it was getting harder to find animals for my experiments, but I still knew one I could get access to easily. I told Lark I was making her a clock, but she wasn't interested. She was too busy playing with her stupid bird. Nineteen thirty-two. Closed track. Out of service. Oh, that's nice. They have the little. They have the train path, so you can still tell it to the other player, even okay, if you click. I'm going, I'm going to the right first. Okay, I'm going with Back you. Back to the house. Oh, there's oh. a fireplace. In the in the house. Yeah. I found a paper that says, I left you something downstairs. It will be my greatest invention yet. Play our secret melody and I'll open the door. I have a kitchen, front door, study, music room, office, and dining hall. I have a spooky door that leads to some stairs that I can't go down. Oh, now I can. I need a tune. Oh, there's a little lizard. We're friends now. Oh, the lizard is in a trap. And it says, uh -oh. in five years when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I'll be sitting by the dinner table waiting for you. And I just pulled out a cork and it poured some stuff on the floor and it says, I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Lark. Look after... I don't know. Do you have anything that makes music? No. Okay. I've got, maybe this is a puzzle that we have to find somewhere else, but I've got a, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six bells that play different notes and I need to oh. play them in a certain order to open a door. Okay. I have some paint buckets. <laughs> It might not be in the house. We might yeah, have to look around a little bit more. It's probably somewhere else. All right. I'm going to go back and go to the well. Oh, it's Ooh. not a well anymore. It's a music shop. Well, well, well. <laughs> no, I said it's not a well anymore. <laughs> it's a music shop. Oh, God. I have a bunch of lock boxes with I've numbers got... on them. I've got a post office. No, oh, that might huh. be what I'm looking at. Like, I've got I, well, it's not, but it's not the same as yours. Mine is um. Mine's got a post, like a mailbox, mm -hmm. which doesn't need to be. Are there any oh. numbers? There's a, there's two fives, but other mm. than that, no. So what I'm looking at, I have what look like look to be maybe PO boxes or something. Right. Uh, and they're numbered. Uh, they have buttons, and then they have these 
dials with four needles I can move. Um, okay, chapter two is clearly more complicated. <laughs> we're still geniuses, though. They're like, so you worry. really thought. Okay, I'm going to Raven's Clocks just yep. to kind of... Going back in time, making myself dizzy. I got a key. Whoa, whoa. Okay, clocks. Oh, hello, bird. I have a a po um, I have a key and I have a letter, so I think I can go put this letter in the mailbox. Actually, I have a white raven. That's my baby. <laughs> and a letter that says, or a certificate apprenticeship. Dear Amelie, I am pleased to inform you that you've been chosen as my new apprentice. Your experiments with time extractions are truly groundbreaking. I agree that our short lifespan is deeply unfair, especially for people like us who keep improving the world, pushing it forward. I am looking forward to helping you with your experiment in Switzerland. Yours sincerely, Clarissa Schar, Master Watchmaker. I have a post box number for you. Um, I also have a note that says, do not remove these tools. I will work when the clock shop is closed. Mm, okay. Okay, you have a post box number for me? I do. 28. 28. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then it has northwest, west, southwest, east written on it. Northwest, west, southwest, and east? Mm-hmm. Boom. A letter to Amelie get, Raven. Ooh. From Lark Raven. Ooh, there's a key. Here's your key to the clock I'll just shop. Send that to you. Amelie, when you're done working, could you help me f look for my raven, Lark? Wow, I feel like we've really interacted there. I like sent you, that like to you. Like you actually sent it to me. I did. This is a good game. <laughs> and now I'm going back to the raven's clocks after it's closed. Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting for it to close. There we go. Use the key. Oh, yeah. Oh! There's a bird. There's a watch. I have gemstones. The watch has spinny bits. What? Are, okay. Is there a green, red, white, and brown stone? Yes. Okay. Okay. Are they so the green... arrayed in a specific location? They are. So I'm going to tell you which ones are which, and then I'll tell you where they go. Because I've got a, okay. two books here that I've got to open and close. Okay, so the green one, um, Fuck off, Malachite. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. Malachite is a copper known for its green color. The quartz is white, is mm -hmm. kind of the white see-through one. Ruby is red. Um, the If there's a white one with black spots, it's called a Dalmatian stone. There's a tiger's um, eye is the fourth one. Okay, yeah, and then it's just the brown one. Okay. So all of the stones are going to be on the top four. Yes. And then there's a fifth open one at the bottom. Yeah. Okay, so it says, this is one of those, it can be here, but it can't be here. Oh, it's a logic one of those. puzzle, okay. Yeah. The tiger's eye should be to the left of the quartz. Okay. The Bird's malachite. <laughs> so the tiger's eye should be to the left of the quartz. The malachite cannot be to the far sides or directly next to the ruby. Okay. The ruby must not be directly next to the tiger's eye. <laughs> okay. Um, so the tiger's, so the tiger's eye, eye has to be to, to the left, the left of, the of the quartz. Which means that the tiger's eye can be to the far right. Mm. No, it has to be the far left. Oh. So it has to be to the oh, left. To the left, of the yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, left of the quartz. Malachite cannot be to the far sides or directly next to the ruby. So then it should be it can be malachite, then quartz, then the tiger or then um the ruby at the Malachite, then quartz. No, because it has to be to the left of Tiger's eye has to be to the left of the quartz. Right. 
So the tiger's eye is at the far left. Yeah. Then the ruby, or then the um, malachite, then yeah. the quartz, then the ruby. Got it. And it says, for the highest precision point, the balance needle, point the balance needle toward the malachite. How do I... Oh my god, bird, stop. This fucking bird is... And then it says... Is this? When oh, that moves the needle. Okay. Yeah, it says point it towards the malachite. Done. And then it says, when everything is set up for optimal accuracy, wind the clock up by turning the top right gear clockwise twice. Once the lid has closed, test the experiment by setting the clock to oh. 12. Okay. This should, to 12. this should initiate the extraction process. Shit's happening. Great. You hearing any tunes? No. Uh, the bird was just turned to dust and consumed by the clock. Whoops. Uh, it is, however, playing a sequence of directions on the clock. Okay. What are they? Three. 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 Six, three, six, six, three, 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 six, three, six, six, three. Yeah. So it's just that same repeating. Okay, can you just do it again? Three, uh, just read. Three, three, six, three. Six, six, three. And that's the whole thing? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Damn it, I was hoping that would be... So it was three, 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 six, three, six, six, three. not working for the tune. Uh, hmm. And I don't else? really have anything else. I just need that tune. Maybe there's a different time to be at? I'm going to try, re try rewinding further. Let me go to midnight, actually. Let me set my time to midnight just so fast. Before you do anything. I like that there's a little point of the uh, the clock hand at the bottom. Is there like a gap in between the sequences so you know where it starts and ends? Yes. Okay. Shoot, it's not working still. It does a little flip around the whole thing. Um. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't look like anything changes with different times. I'm gonna look at it some more. Uh, it's the minute hand that's doing that, by the way. If that matters. So I guess it would technically mm. be 15 and 30. <sighs> 15 and 30? I guess. Because the minute hand is the longer one, right? I know how analog clocks work. Yeah. <laughs> is it? Is it like... um? Is 
Is it a full clock? So there's a full 12 options? Yeah. And it's only going uh. to the right and the bottom. And then spinning all the way around. Right. I'm wondering if that's actually... Huh, because, okay, so I've only got three options for these bells, or six options for these bells. Okay. Maybe I need to... Hmm. Are there... So there are bells in the clock shop? Can you make it so that yours is 12 o'clock too? Like my world? Your Yeah, your world time. Yeah, spinning. When you go do that. Um. Making also, maybe we have to turn it to... Um. So the thing is, okay, so for the book, it says point it to... It says for the highest precision, point to the balance needle towards the third quartz. And then the note says, point it instead towards the malachite. Yeah, I pointed it toward the malachite. I can't go into the guts of the uh, watch anymore. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, shit. 11 and midnight. Okay. Is it any different? It is not different at all. Do you have any clocks anywhere? In any of your no. three locations? No. Hmm. I just have this one that has the bells with with what's rooms. The, what's at the house? The house. That's that's what this is. This is. It's the bells. So it oh. has what's in six the clock bells. Shop for you, then? The clock shop is. Let me go back. Try going. Um, you're going when it's closed, right? Yeah. Go during the open hours and see if it's somewhere else. That's when I went earlier during open hours is when I got the letter and the okay. key to give you. Okay. I'll rewind and go back. Yeah, now that it's open. Nothing? Nope. I need a tune. I need a goddamn tune. Yeah, this isn't a tune. This is... I mean... Numbers. It, it could maybe be a tune, but I don't... Are the bells marked with Roman numerals? They're marked with room names. Room names, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's not one, two. It's not literally numbered. No, it says kitchen, front door, study, music room, office, okay. dining Then I hall. think that's a not yet thing. Okay, well then what is a yet? Maybe, maybe... I don't know. I don't know. It's confusing. There's nothing really for me to interact with in this basement. This poor lizard stuck in a cage. Some dead plant in a pot. I have some jars I can shuffle around. Oh, a rope! The rope oh. says, uh, oh, I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Lark. Look after it really well, like you did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. In five years, when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I'll be sitting by the dinner table waiting for you. Oh, that was a series of rooms, wasn't it? Oh, oh, yes, it was. Ah! Okay. okay, are you ready? Yes. Uh, I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. Okay. I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Lark. Look after it really, really well, like you did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. 
So I think that's one study, two pantry. Okay. In five years, when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I'll be sitting by the dinner table waiting for you. So I think that's five for dinner table. It's open. Yeah, let's go. Downstairs I go. <laughs> Ooh. There's a barrel. I'm breaking it. I found a clock. Aha. I bet we do numbers now. Mine's doing the same thing yours was. Is it? Yeah, except for it's a different sequence. What's the sequence? Mine. Hold on, waiting for it to reset. Okay, up. How do you? How would you prefer me say it? The numbers one, yeah. three, six, six. Okay, okay. Is it only doing or twelve? Is it only doing twelve and nine? It's no. It's doing twelve. It's doing twelve, three, six. Okay, okay. Okay. It's twelve, three, twelve, 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 three, six. That's it. Huh. I wonder if this is the train. Twelve, Are these train directions? Three. Could be. I think that would mean yours goes first because we're in the bottom left. Okay. Okay. I need to like write that down though. Fuck, I can't write it down. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay, okay. I'll just remember it ups and downs. Okay. So mine goes up, right, up three times, right, and down. And that's it. Up. Okay. One. Up. I've got that marked two, down. Three, I'm going to go look at right, mine. Down. Okay. Actually, why don't you go to your train? Go to your okay. train and I'll I'll recite it back to you. So you can do the first okay. part. Okay. 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 Well, I'm just going to move some thoughts around really quick. There's like a bunch of stuff around here. Okay. I'm not going to bother with that. I'm going to go out. Okay. All right. Up. Right. Up three times. Right. Down. Nailed it. Now it's okay. yours. <laughs> ah. I think yours is. Right. 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 Down. Right. Down. Down. Right. Got it. Okay. Going back to the train station. <laughs> Give it to me. Ready. Okay, so it goes up one, right one. Up one? From the very beginning? Oh, Did yeah. You do yeah that I already have it. I already have your oh. half. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then, okay, so from my half from down, then it's right three times, down one, right one, down two, right and out in the very bottom right. Boom. Woo. Okay. Train. Choo choo, <laughs> chapter three. <laughs> it was say? easier than I thought to extract time from animals. Now I had to learn how to do the same with people. I knew Lark wouldn't want to harm the people who went into the clock, so I decided to give them a way out. Are we in the fucking clock? I don't know. 1937. Ooh. Oh. I'm in front of a clock mansion. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go to the right. Okay. House. I've got a phone. I also have a phone. 
That's it. That's all the house oh, has. Click the numbers? Um. Oh! Can you, do you have one, two, three? Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, one says, was pouring down and made me scared. Um, okay. Two is, hey, Lark, I'm so glad you finally. Three is, earlier, but you, never mind, are you still? Four is, now that before, or know that before I left, I made you something to keep. And zero is, you named Cole? I made a new one for you. So mine say, five says, angry, but don't hang up on me yet. I really want you to. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, you can put on. them in an order. Yeah. Uh, what, what numbers do you have? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. But we have to put them in a special order, a conversation order. Yeah, I think two is first. Okay, what's it say? Hey Lark, I'm so glad you finally decided to pick up the phone I've been leaving. So my first one is seven. Okay. Uh hold on, actually I'm gonna I'm gonna do all of them so that we can we'll figure out the thing. So for yeah. me my first one is two, your first one is seven. Yeah. Um so what's seven again? Decided to pick up the phone. I've been leaving. Um Thing. Earlier, but you never mind. Are you still? It's two, three for me. Are you still uh angry? No, I don't think that'd be right. No, because it says, Are you still angry, but don't hang up on me yet? I really want you to. Yeah, that's not it. Are you still the second, I don't have any other that fit, really. Hmm. Are you sure that's your Maybe next one? Maybe it's not that one. Decided to pick up the phone. I've been leaving. Nothing I have really fits from there. Because what I have is, was pouring down and made me scared. Oh, you can only hit five numbers. So your other ones, your other not numbers. Oh, do those also have stuff? Yeah, they do. Oh, they do. Ha ha yeah. ha ha. So I've been leaving is my first one. You so many messages. Okay. Wait, I know you're still. That'll be the angry one. Okay. So for me, it's okay. two asterisk. I know you're still angry, but don't hang up on me yet. I really want you to. Know that before I left, I made you something to keep. So two asterisk four. Does it say? I made you something to keep. To keep. Okay, to keep. To keep you company. I would have told you. Earlier, but you, never mind. Are you still? So that's two asterisk four, three. Two asterisk four, three. Okay. Um, so let's see, seven, five, nine. Hold on, I'm getting mine back. Are you still there? You know your raven that went missing, the one. You named Cole? I made a new one for you. Two, asterisk, four, three, zero. It's upstairs and it's even better. This one cannot die. Okay, we should have our full number. Okay, the phone? Mine the started ringing this. Ooh, mine and a ladder. a ladder came down. Yep. yep. Uh, oh. Oh, I have a bird. I have a bunch of diagrams of a mechanical bird. I have a mechanical bird and I have a bunch of letters. 
Oh, shit. Okay, what do your letters say? Um, I've got an A, B, C, D, E, F. Oh, that kind how, of letter. How did you spell coal? K-O-L. Give me a sec. Okay. Oh, no special symbols or anything, right? Nope. Give me two seconds. She awake. Okay. Bird up. Ooh, it's pretty bird. Oh. What? It crows. Oh, fun. Okay. I don't know how. I don't know what to do now. What's your? What do your diagrams say? Um, I have a diagram of a mechanical wing. I have a diagram of two spinning gears. I have some hinge bits. Uh, I have what looks like a beak with a piston attached to it to make it. Wah, wah. Well, um, mine's awake, but do you need any? Do you have any like puzzle pieces that you need? I have. I have a diagram of a clock. It's got the the 12, 12, 3, 6, 9. Um, mm -hmm. It is bisected down the middle. On the right, there is a mechanical bird, the head of a mechanical bird. On the left, there's a little telegram do -do 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 thing. I've got Morse code is from your, the bird. Is your bird Morse coding? It's Morse coding at me, yeah. Okay, then I need to find a telegram thing. Telegraph thing. Maybe at the post office? She's Morse coding yes. at me. Yes. Okay. You are you have it ready to go? Uh-huh. Okay, can I just give you short, long, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera? Yeah. Okay. I'm hitting again. Short, long. Short, long. 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 Short, short, long, long, long. Oh, short. No. Hit reset. You reset Are you having ten characters. Oh. Are you being given like short, long, long to plug in? Yep. Okay. Short, long, short, long. Long, long, short, short, long, long, long. And then it resets. There's only one short one at the, at the end. Yeah, I'm missing a long and a short at the end. I'm going to the clock shop. It's dark and spooky here. Oh, f okay. what the fucking shitting dick is this? I'm gonna go to the post office too and see what I got at the post office. Oh, I have some... Oh, I have some very strange diagrams. Yeah? I've got the lock boxes now that you had before with the north, mm. southeast, west type beat. Okay. Do you have, you have diagrams? What are they of? No, it's sorry. It's just those lock boxes that you uh. had. I'm assuming I've got, you know. Oh. Huh. I'm so excited to restore the clock shop with you, Lark. Soon we are going to be a proper family again. Meet me in the basement of the shop. There's a weird machine in the basement of the shop. All right. Well, I'm going to the shop. I too have a weird machine in the basement of the shop. Okay. I think I'm weirded out by the Morse code not working. Oh, I need to hit buttons. So when I turn I on my machine on, buttons. I think we need to what? tell each other what the symbols are on okay. our side. Okay. And then press the other person's symbol. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Okay, shall we three, two, one? Yes. Okay. Three, two, one, on. 
Raven. Snake. Oh, I got an X that said no. <laughs> oh, maybe we both do the symbols? You have to hit, you have to hit your Raven, too. Okay, yeah. okay. Let's, let's go again. Okay. Three, two, one, on. Raven. Snake. Six? Six? Yes, yeah, a six. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe it's like the like a um, like a telephone. Mine spins though at the beginning of all of mine. Yeah. So I think it's the one in the six position, which I think is numpad. Numpad's the reverse of a phone, isn't it? Maybe it's the numpad. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try. Raven, snake. Oh, that was three that time. Let's try again. Raven, snake, two. That's the moth. Oh. Hold on. Is it the moth every time? Raven, snake. It is. Okay. So it's just, it's giving me, it's saying whichever symbol is in the position of the number. Um, in the position of the number? Yeah, so you know how back in the day, phones had a like grid of numbers yes. on them? Yes. Um, so it's giving me a number, and whichever symbol corresponds to that number, so in this case it was one, it's, it's the symbol that's on the one spot in a, which for me... But my, okay. Uh, but what I need to, I, I can't just give you the number because I have, basically what I have to do is I need to look at the symbols I have, see which one is in that position, and then tell you that symbol. So it was the moth. It's it's raven, snake, moth is a, the first three. Okay. I, I don't know because even when my moth is moving, it's always the moth. Right? Yes. It is always okay, okay. the moth. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. The okay, number for me well, is changing. It was six and then it was three and then. Okay. I'm ready to count down New York. Okay. <laughs> three. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. Okay. From left right to, left. to right. Left to right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top and then row. down a row. And down, yeah. Like reading a book. Okay. Yep. All right. I'm ready. Three, two, one, on. Raven. Snake. Moth. Key. Key? Keyhole. Uh, here, minus two, uh, hourglass. Mine timed out. Shit. Okay. Oh, uh, I have to do math. <laughs> okay. Okay, so. Count me in. <laughs> okay, mine already started. Okay, tell me when. Uh, three, two, one, go. So, raven. Snake. Moth. Moth. Keyhole. Keyhole. Uh, hourglass. Okay. Um, gear. A uh, ladder. Puppet. Uh, moth. Um, snake. Seven to the. What does that fucking mean? Uh, I don't know. Moth. No, it wasn't moth. It's. Yeah, it's just whichever one. If it has an arrow, it's just that one to the right or to the left or up and down. Oh, or to the or right from seven. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then it would have been wolf. Okay, you Oof. ready? Well, I'm Let's not remembering again. that much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, go. Shocker, it's Raven. Snake. Uh, Moth. Moth. Keyhole. Um, d d uh, d hourglass. Uh, gear. Railway, I guess, is what that is technically. Um, a puppet. Uh, eight moth. Uh, snake. Uh, wolf. Uh, raven. Snake. 
A uh, key. Hole. A uh, gear? Um, snake. Raven? Escape? The ladder? Nope. What was the escape? Escape? It literally said the word escape. Keyhole? Maybe the Maybe. keyhole. Okay. Or on the last one, it literally <laughs> said escape. I was like, I don't know what the fuck that means. Me either. Okay. Yeah, the ladder is actually railway, apparently. Oh. That's the word it gave me for it. Okay. Uh, count me in. Okay. Three, two, one, on. Raven. Snake. Uh, moth. Keyhole. Uh, hourglass. Gear. Railway. Puppet. Moth. Uh, snake. Wolf. Uh, the bird, raven. Uh, snake. Uh, keyhole. Gear. Uh, snake. Bird. Keyhole, I guess. Escape. Yeah! <gasps> the machine oh. is on. It's going chugga 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 chugga. Chugga 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 chugga. Uh, and I what have two directions marked. Okay. I have south and southeast. I have northeast and northeast. Okay. You have south and southeast. I have north and I have northeast and northeast. Okay. Then I'm guessing that's for the post office thing for you. I would assume oh, so. Oh, I have a radio upstairs now. Oh. Me too. Um, you have the start. Okay. I think three patients from the nursing home in Hillbach have vanished in the middle of the night. The talented Amelie Raven has returned from Switzerland. She is... Determined to reopen and bring back glory to Raven's clocks. The police are looking for anyone who was in the vicinity of the nursing. Home yesterday evening. They are asking for assistance finding the missing patients. The post office water damage is repaired and the all post boxes are ready. To be used again. There is already a letter in the post box 30... In post box 34. The tragic nursing home incident has reopened old wounds in our village. We hope these disappearances won't remain unsolved like those five years ago. We have no news when our train service will re when train service will return to our village again. The station is now permanently closed. Clarissa, I'm oh, sorry, this one's hard to turn into. Oh, why is this so hard to turn me? Okay, Clarissa uh, Scar, the generous benefactor of our new clock tower, died last month at the opening ceremony. Next week, we will honor her memory. Okay, so it was 34? 34. All right. Opened. Boom. Easy. Hell yeah. Got more Morse code? No. <laughs> Post office telegram. It feels like I was gone for such a long time, but for all the time I was away, it still felt short. Too short to finish my invention. Now we will have the longest lives ever. Longer than you can imagine. When you've repeated this message, I'll guide your way. Say it. Okay. Read it again. Okay. Slowly. It feels like I was... What? Slowly. Okay. It feels like I was gone for such a long time. Long? But, okay, yeah. But for all the time I was away, it still felt short. Short. Too short to have finished short, my short. invention. Now we will have the longest lives ever. Longer than you could have imagined. When you've repeated this message, I'll guide your way. So two uh, times, so it's okay. long, short, Short. Long, short, long, short, long. Long. Oh, fuck. I messed it up. That's fine. So long, it's long, short, 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 long, long. Long, long. 
and then long, long short, 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 long, long. long. No. <laughs> so I can't like I I don't choose between long and short. I have to actually press and hold. Oh, got so, you. Long, short, 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 long, 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 long short, 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 long, long. There we go. You got it? Yes. What you getting? It's playing its own Morse code now, but it's different. What is it? Short, long, long, short. Oh, hold on. Let me press it again. I know what this is. I know what this is. Short, long, short, short. Short, long, 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 short, long, long, short. And then it's done. How many okay. is that? Uh, I don't know. Do you know what this is for? What is this for? Yeah. So when my bird does mm -hmm. short and long, its eyes light up during the long ones, mm -hmm. which is the lights around the outside that are hanging. This outside. also has a light bulb that is doing that. Okay. Cool. I don't know where we start, though. I would assume we start. Oh. Uh, can we turn the lights on and off by clicking on them? Yes. We can. So if you look at the, if you actually look at the clock tower and you turn one on, a light on, it lights up on the gate too. Yeah. So that's where we start is right there. Um, okay. Oh, oh, that's what the bisected part of the diagram is for. The left half is the telegram. Okay. So uh, the period of the clock from six to 12. Okay. So that's um, yours, right? And yes. then the, mine is the bird. Is the bird okay? Which so is, can you? Which is twelve to uh, six. Yeah. So I'm gonna go do the bird first. Okay. If you want to stay in, and light up lights, and then I can okay. go light up lights while you tell yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm going okay. upstairs first. Okay. So I'll just say on, off, and then I'll just go to the next one or whatever. Yep. Starting with the first one on yep. the whatever. Off, on. Off, on. On, on, off, off, on, 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 off. Okay. You got, got it? it? Yep. Okay. Can you tell me what they are and then I'll. I will. All right. I'm ready. Off, on, off. Okay. On, on, on. Off, off, on. On, okay. on, off. Okay. Okay. Now, from there, so stay there. Yeah. Off, on, off, 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 on, 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 off, on, on, off. Okay. You got it? Yep. Okay. I can, so I can help you do yours. Please. Okay. So from the back, from mm -hmm. directly behind the clock tower, goes off, on, off. Got it. Then off, off, on. Mm -hmm. On, on, off. On, Got on, it. off. And your gate should open. Yeah! Okay, genius! <laughs> We're the best mm -hmm. around. Okay, I'm going in. Me too. Oh, yeah. There's a ladder. Oh, ladder. <gasps> the ladder had words. Mine too. All those years in Switzerland made it possible for me to finally finish the clockwork. My last memory of Lark was a suspicious frown on her face. I'm going up. I double-checked Lark's clock. 
It ran exactly as it should. At first, she said she didn't want the clock. She said she was tired of my presence. It didn't occur to me that a crack in the clock face would make a difference. I held it out to her anyway, because I needed her to be with me. I have jars with numbers. I had spent years collecting time for us, time that would be added to our lives. I never told her that the time was stolen, only that the clock would let us be together forever. Oh, this is creepy. Instead, she disappeared into the clock. I still haven't found her. She closed her hand around the clock, and I never saw her again. It just ticked at me. Oh. There's a jar. I'm clicking the jar. You do? A light went into the jar. Uh huh. It's a 64. 63. I think that's the number it, of minutes we spend playing the game. I put it back. I didn't have to build a way out. I hope you and your friend appreciate it. You beat the game. Such a shame to see all that time go to waste. You have lost 64 minutes of your life. You've lost 63 minutes of your life. Damn. <laughs> that was cool. Amelie Lark added 64 minutes to hers. Yeah. Lark would have added 63 minutes to hers. Mm. Would have. Would have. I think she died. She was destroyed by the clock. Oh. Hey. Ah. Oh that yeah, cool. my clock had a crack in it. Oh. At the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just yeah, didn't yeah, even think yeah. to say. What a great game. That's fun. Ew, it gives me chilies. Ew. That's such a good game. Yikes, Amelie. <laughs> Remember, kids, do not consume the souls of other living beings to extend your own lifespan. Yeah, maybe don't do that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, hey, that's so fun. Hey, Lark, you remember how you had that bird that you really liked? Well, I killed it and then made a mechanical one for you. It'll never die, but you will. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Because Christ. I'm going to accidentally kill you with a clock. Oh. Hey, uh, that's so sad. That is really sad. We'll be together for... It's like... It, you make a clock that you think is going to keep you and your sister alive forever, and then you accidentally kill her. Yeah. Or absorb her. Ooh. That's upsetting. I like that it counts the amount of time that you spend in it. Yeah. Um, it's good. I, I, all the time theming, like having the rotation of the game be the movement of the clock hand, like all that stuff is mm -hmm. really, really thematically concise i like it yeah and i love just how contained it is mm -hmm. and it's like i mean it's essentially like it's that fucking bomb defusal game uh keep talking and nobody explodes yeah it's like that but with less pressure <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh um, just fun i would love more games like the two of these like uh TikTok and like uh keep talking nobody explodes where it's like synchronous but not requiring an internet connection um, yeah. and like asymmetrical where the different players are doing different things um, but they feed into each other I understand that designing that way has to be really hard um, especially for a puzzle game specifically yeah uh, but I, I don't know I, I like I like more I would like more games like this yeah you um, did play the other half than you did last time right yeah I did yeah. too yeah <laughs> Cool. Hell yeah. The end. I got the credits. Um, I'd give it a, 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 a for letter grade. I'd give it an A. That's it's a fantastic little mobile friendly puzzle game, and because of how it's designed to be like, 
each person has their own instance of the game and you just pick your player at the beginning. You can yeah. play this computer to computer, to phone, to tablet, to like a- any mix yeah. of two devices. Um, yeah. Which means like technically you could play it by yourself on two devices if you really wanted to, but... <laughs> why would um, you want to? Why would, why would you do that? Uh, I think it does a really good job of um, splitting the story across both sides. Uh, And I think part of what works so well about that is that you're communicating the story to the other player um, instead of just having the game tell you. Like, the game is telling you your half and then the other player Mm -hmm. is telling you their half. Um, But you have to communicate your half to the other player. So, in a sense, it makes you more invested in the story um, because you're telling it to someone. Yeah. Um, And I think that that works really well for such a little compact like essentially mobile experience mm-hmm. um and this has to be extremely touch screen friendly i'm sure oh yeah um i mean all of your movements are just swiping yeah up and down and back and forth you know yeah which is great it's it's such a good it's great that it translates so well into different control schemes that is not yeah. an easy thing to do with a like fi- with physical spatial puzzles um yeah so yeah, big fan. I I wish there were more of these. <laughs> I do too. Um, yeah, I think I'm so I'm so picky about what I give A's. I really like it. B plus. Um Damn. Yeah, I think like it's really for what it is supposed to be, it's really good. And I still got chills at the end, like when it tells you how much time you've been playing and is like Yeah. We stole this time from you, right? Like to play this game. I feel like that's so haunting, especially because it's completely about time. The whole theme is about time and time-based puzzles and yeah. everything and the story itself is about stealing time so it's like it's so haunting and like a sad story right um and there's some part of you that kind of like especially with the clock counting backwards at the beginning from today from like current day it makes it feel like you're exploring like it literally said at the beginning of yours it's an, a setup instance right like it's a world a recreated world that you're walking through Um, which it's so interesting because I don't know. The story is just really cool. Um, and it's sad and I love, I'm a sucker for stories about siblings (laughs) because I love my sister. So I just, it's so, it's so good. I really enjoy it. It gives me, it gives me, and I love games that can be played so quickly that are like shorter experiences, but are still impactful. Um, because definitely like, even though I couldn't remember the puzzles exactly, like I remembered the general story from the first time that I played this like a couple of years ago. Yeah. I knew it was about like sisters. I knew it was about time and, and you know, I was like on board with that. I love that. So yeah, it's really good. I wish it was like a little bit harder, honestly. Like I wish the I, puzzles were a little bit harder. I think that's our fault. Um, Cause we're too we, good at puzzles. Cause we've been, and I'm, I'm not even joking because when I played this the first time I spent two hours on it. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I think it is worth noting that we have played a lot of puzzle games on this yeah, show that's by this true. point. Um, yeah. That require some, like, serious, not just in terms of, like, solving the puzzles, but, like, knowing when to put a puzzle down and go look yeah. somewhere else. Yeah. Um, I, the Morse I think, code thing. We were like, put it down, come back to that yeah, bitch later. Like, this isn't, you know? this isn't working. The constraints of the situation tell us that we don't have yeah. what we need right now. Instead of just sitting here like, what if we excise these two characters from the thing to like... Yeah. I think we have spent enough time playing puzzle games that we have we have a skill set yeah. that puzzle makes games really this are game for babies. fast. Because <laughs> <laughs> we kind of... Like, we didn't really get stuck yeah. at any point in this. We got yep. kind of close once or twice, but other than that, we just sort of breezed through. Yeah. Um, if we had gotten stuck on any of those puzzles, or multiple of the puzzles, um, if we hadn't already been familiar with the fact that like there are going to be four locations and you can rotate between them, um, yeah. if it hadn't taken, if we hadn't immediately figured out that spinning moves time, uh, the game could have been a lot longer. That's true. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, there were a couple places that we tried a couple times and then we were like, oh, this isn't working. Like, I tried the six 
the 336 thing yeah. on the bells. You know, we tried the Morse code thing, like, and it was just wasn't working. So we're just like, well, whatever. And then just moved along and came back. Um, yeah, it's, I love this game though. Love to see Talk us play Anti Chamber. Anti Chamber. That game is, I don't know if it would work well for this show. I might look into it again. Um, Cause it's like a, we don't do a whole lot of like first person y stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe, you know, we're gonna be pretty soon, we're gonna be playing Mist. And I think that will maybe give us a bit of a measure of whether or I'm not so Anti Chamber will be good. I'm so excited for, for Mist. For this. <laughs> um, I love Mist so much. I'm so excited. But yeah, it was it was really great um, getting to play this. It's, I mean, Baba is you, and <laughs> um, the game that we just finished that I have already Elsinore. forgotten. Elsinore. Uh, Baba is you and Elsinore are two of the longest playthroughs we've had on this show so far. So it's it was really nice, nice to... having a shorter yeah. game that was not Putt Putt. <laughs> just one of the options. That we Next week, for... Putt Putt goes to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Um, we, we may be back next week with another yeah. one shot game. Um, mm -hmm. We might have some because my moving shit is up in the air. And yeah. obviously, Summer's moving shit is in process. Mm -hmm. um, so things are going to be a little rocky for a bit. Um, but we have Great. a couple more, like, one episode games to play. Uh, and we're going to try and play those until we have settled into our respective places and then we'll be we'll be hitting you with more long playthroughs where you can go no why are you so stupid solve the oh, puzzle stop playing this game you've been playing it for a year <laughs> stop uh. um so if if that is something that you enjoy about this this show then good news great uh, news if that's not something you enjoy about the show then good news we have a couple more episodes like this coming <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. All right. All right. Bye, bitches. Bye, bitches.